Welcome to a video from TheDouchLives.com A new Windows 10 build to look at This is 21292 for Windows Insider or the Dev Channel And it's a minor update to the update that we had last week um, And we're on the release preview So we're getting some new features And one of those last week was the new News and Interest tile or button or centre That you get down here on the taskbar And that's really where all the changes are in this week's build And they're all fixes So if you didn't see this last week you can see the First of all, I can see that they shrunk the icon down slightly. I think last week the default wasn't like that. And I don't remember changing the default, but now it's just showing the weather like that, which so it takes up less space. But when you click on it, you get that new user interest center. Which looks like that. And a um, good clue to some of the UI features or UI styles that we may get in the future with these little curved edges and the live tiles may or the start menu tiles may get those as well so all the changes with this build are fixes so they've fixed performance reliability they would um, fix an issue where if you would click on them then you would be um, it wouldn't open up anything some of the two some of the screen readers weren't working correctly with it and there's some issues with um, where they would look blurry and if you clicked on them they would wouldn't look correct and so on so they they fixed the, those issues which is what you expect with uh, with a new update like this a new feature and I wonder whether they're using this to test some of the uh, embedded web view in this kind of thing um, yeah so so that you know, it looks like that and you can customize it as well to your own new interests you see I can get the weather like that so no major change to it just that you're just seeing the um, improvement and fixes coming to that the rest of the changes are all fairly minor with this build there's a um, based on feedback they've added a message in in this section here where um, the Microsoft permissions have been turned off for the whole system or for apps with a link to fix that so that if you've got some app that doesn't that you've not given permission to use the microphone it'll show up here with a link to enable and disable that which is good uh, especially if you're trying to use something like teams and it has got mic permission you can you can see from settings there it uh, there's the issue the rest of the changes are just fixes they've um, improved some x64 emulation on arm 64 um, so some app crashes including your phone and steam have been working uh, have, been, have been fixed in this build as well so that's the emulation of x64 if you're on an arm device like the surface uh, pro x they fixed some uh, messages saying critical area your start menu isn't working in recent builds i haven't seen that but i've seen a few reports of that uh, they fixed some explorer C exes issues that were cr was crashing when you were interacting with audio i haven't seen those and um they fixed the issue with NTFS logging pos false positives, torn right events. Uh, they fixed some issues with Teams and uh, sorting in task manager by status uh, wasn't available. And they fixed that as well. And they fixed some language issues. There's still some known issues with this build. Uh, a couple of games, Call of Duty Modern Warfare and um, Black Ops might not start correctly. And uh, there's some uh, issues with state of decay 2 and assassin's creed that may crash or hang and there's fix there's still some issues with some graphics um rendering issues as well mirror cast, mirror cast that's the casting from one pc screen to another or to a dongle or like a tv they might you might get low frame rate rates in that as well and there's some issues with plenty of issues with news and interests, um, but those are the ones they're working on as well. Also, if you're on ARM64 as well, you may have you may have reduced brightness with the Qualcomm uh, drop graphics, and that's going to be addressed in the future. So that's it, really. There's not a huge amount to show you on here. I do like this news and weather. I'm not sure how much you want to use it, but uh, we'll see. And uh, personalized content is always good. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com.